But we've had some big moves take place. And a big one yesterday for the New York Yankees as they bring in Frankie Montas from the Oakland Athletics. Montas, as I said off the top, is a guy that was on the market essentially before the season even started. The Athletics made it very clear that they were sellers. Matt Olson to Atlanta, Matt Chapman to Toronto. And really the two remaining pieces were Sean Manaya, who was moved to the Padres, and Frankie Montas, who had to wait this thing out a little bit but has now found his new home with the New York Yankees. The Yankees did a lot of moves yesterday involving pitching while also adding Trevino from the Athletics, one of their closers, to this deal and making a move with the Chicago Cubs. A lot of moves in the pitching department yesterday for the Yankees DRS. What caught your eye? Yeah, two good arms in the bullpen here on a bullpen that already has a lot of depth and talent. That's always a signal that you're ready to win into October. Also, take a look at another starting pitcher, a quality guy coming over here, which is fantastic because also, Kevin, you don't say to yourself, like, where is he going to fit in? One, two, three, or four. You look at it saying, okay, down the stretch, if we lose guys to the IL, if we have to have some spot starts out here, Frankie Montas is the perfect scenario where this is one of those guys, Kevin, we talked about Louis Castillo moving on to the Mariners. It's a guy for now and into the future. I know it hasn't worked out all that well sometimes with the Yankees. We get like a Sonny Gray saying, boy, this is the perfect scenario. Let's use him now as a good pitcher. And then also we can have him for another five to six years after that. Hopefully Frankie Montas works out the way. But also let's keep in mind, boy, would have been in something here. And you want to talk about fireworks at the deadline. If they go Montas, Trevino, and Efros here and somehow slip in Shohei Otani, which the Yankees made an offer for, but the Angels decided not moving him. We talked about it a lot yesterday, Kevin. What would that have looked like? What was a trade piece going to be? And can you imagine if let's just say they had to give up three of their top four prospects, but you got Otani at the deadline. My goodness, if you want to talk about back page in New York City and owning the tabloids for the rest of the summer, that would have been sensational to watch. But even there, the Yankees, the best team in baseball record-wise, added on and got a pretty good troop back here yesterday to sort of move forward. And maybe they're not done yet. Let's see what they do today.